today topic of discussion is pelvic inflammatory disease pid pelvic inflammatory disease is an inflammation of human reproductive system inflammation of human reproductive system commonly responsible to cause infertility and diseases in women whole over the world so it will affected all over the world it causes infertility and diseases it affected mainly cervix uterus fallopian tube ovaries and peritoneum in women it mainly causes infection in cervix uterus fallopian tube ovaries and peritoneum in women most commonly caused by sexual transmitted bacteria commonly caused by sexual transmitted bacteria gonorrhea and chlamydia then symptoms what are the symptoms it will causes uh, fever pain bleeding during sexual contact bleeding during sexual contact bowel vaginal vaginal discharge lower abdominal pain painful urination uh, chills and vomiting so these are the symptoms fever bleeding uh, then vaginal discharge lower abdominal pain uh, chills vomiting then one things in is important here if pelvic inflammatory disease is left untreated it will leads to infertility in women if not untreated uh, treatment not taken means it leads to infertility then uh, ectopic pregnancy uh, also called as extra uterine pregnancy is when a fertilized egg grows outside a woman uterus then severe pelvic pain Ninety percentage of the cases, the egg implanted in fallopian tube and severe pelvic pain. If treatment not taken, means it leads to infertility, ectopic pregnancy, and severe pelvic pain. It can. causes life threatening bleeding and needs medical care right away if more than 90 percentage of the cases the egg implant in fallopian tube and severe pelvic pain then diagnosis we can ask history and symptoms of that patient cervical swab culture vaginal swab culture then complete blood count cpc count then urine test endometrial biopsy ultrasound transvaginal ultrasound laparoscopy erythrocyte sedimentation rate and crp so what are the tests we can use for diagnosis of pelvic inflammatory disease we can ask history and symptoms of that patient after that we can do cervical swab culture vaginal swab culture complete blood count urine test endometrial biopsy ultrasound transvaginal ultrasound laparoscopy Uh, then esr erythrocyte sedimentation rate and crp uh, c reactive protein test we need finally treatment multiple antibiotics are used to control pelvic inflammatory diseases there are metronidazole toxicycline gentamicin sofotenin sofosetin and glutamicin so what are the antibiotics available metron metronidazole toxicycline gentamicin sofotenin then sofosetin and glutamicin so in this video we are discussing pelvic inflammatory diseases it causes infertility and uh, severe diseases in women reproductive system it mainly affected cervix uterus fallopian tube uh, caused by mainly bacterium 
gonorrhea and chlamydia then these are the symptoms if not uh, treatment is not taken means it causes infertility ectopic pregnancy and then uh, for uh, 90 percentage of the cases it causes egg implant in fallopian tube then diagnosis method finally treatment thanks for watching